Hello, this is Scott Boisel here to tell you a little bit about my N514 sampling project. I recorded a whole bunch of sounds, but I only ended up using maybe 12 or 15 of them. I recorded things including rotating coins and plastic jars that I would try to drop so I could get the sound of what they sounded like when they were falling through the air. I recorded a metal lid, I recorded a small light bulb, I recorded a cola can, I recorded a... I recorded this baby's head thing! And I also recorded my dog Nelly, and I recorded the sound of my own voice. I configured it all into about six different instruments in the EXS24 sampler, which I think is extremely cool that Dr. Deal showed us, because I had never used it before, so it was frustrating because I didn't know the controls, but it was very, very cool. I applied modulation to a lot of the different samples in there using the modulation capabilities that Dr. Deal showed us. I used compression, some dynamics processing, equalization, uh, some time-based processing, including effects and reverbs, and um, chained it all together into a piece that could have been worse. As I worked, I made little video records of what I was doing. There was a lot of them I wanted to use. Uh, I just figured I would show you one uh, to give you an idea of uh, what I did specifically for one sample. For the coin sample, the coin spinning around and falling, uh, I set LFO2 at a really slow rate with a triangle wave to modulate the filter cutoff frequency uh, so it'll slowly close and we end up with something like this. Do you think? 